Hi, this is Patrick, the beer brewer, and I'm here to talk to you about fermentation and why yeast, white labs, and other yeast manufacturers are all a part of the fermentation process that I'm going to talk to you about today. There are multiple types of yeast to ferment your beer. We have a liquid yeast by Y Yeast. It's called a punch pack. It's a punch pack because there's a small little tiny insert inside. It's a bubble that you smash the pack and it activates the yeast in a solution and once activated it will begin to culture and wake it up and in less than three hours you'll actually be able to put it into your carboy once you put your wort in there and it will begin the fermentation process as you can see this California pale ale is right now on its third day of fermentation um, it's created its film on the top which is the CO2 uh, coming up off of the proteins and the sugar that the yeast is making ether alcohol from and as you can see on the bottom there's the trub which is what's left from that spent protein and sugar there's also another way to ferment your wort which would be a dry yeast this particular yeast is soft brew t58 it's a Belgian dry yeast it's freeze-dried the water is taken out of it very active culture once it's sprinkled on top of your wort you would do one or the other type of yeasts based on what your preferences are many people would prefer to make their ales and their Belgians with a liquid yeast and your stouts and your lagers with the dry yeast. There's also a way to create what's called a yeast starter, which is what I have in the process right now. I will actually take uh, this Y yeast, the liquid yeast, put it in here after I make a small wort batch and nearly double the amount of yeast cells for my wort. Once you have a doubled amount of yeast cells, you will get the maximum amount of flavor and alcohol from your beer by utilizing as many yeast cells as you can. The fermentation process is a very patient process. You also want to make sure that your temperatures when you're fermenting an ale are no greater than 72 degrees and no less than 62 degrees. So keeping it temperate is very important. Lagers uh, are always uh, cold filtered and cold fermented as well. But ales are actually much easier to ferment and that's why most home brewers prefer doing ales um, besides the fact that it only takes two weeks to ferment and then drink as opposed to a whole month for a lager to ferment and then filter and then drink. Hopefully this has helped you understand a little bit more about the beer brewing process. This is Patrick, the beer brewer, signing off.